and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 12th of January. The local media headlines today. Now, do you remember that fuss when the government gave loads of money to a ferry company that didn't have any ferries? Well, Cornwall now has a rocket launching facility that hasn't got any rockets. Mind you, the way that Virgin Orbit's share price is crashing, I wouldn't put it past Cornwall Council to buy the company and make it a part of CoreServe. Spaceport bosses are putting a brave face on things, but I'm afraid they're deluded if they think that Richard Branson will be able to have another go this year. This does at least give us time to really take apart some of the incredible claims made by Cornwall Council and examine who said what to who and when. Health and safety said it was OK, says County Hall. Oh no, we didn't, say health and safety. Take your pick. The annual rumpus over car parking charges is about to kick off with plans to clobber tourists in the most popular areas. The real fuss is over how to do this without also clobbering locals. And we remembered the former leader of Cornwall Council, John Pollard. Many past and present councillors said they hadn't appreciated it at the time, but they now regard his leadership as a golden age at County Hall. The BBC had a story about how nearly 4,000 people in Devon and Cornwall have nowhere to live. Shelter says one and a half thousand are children. Pirate FM reported the sentencing of two youths who attacked a homeless man in a Truro car park. One got a referral order and the other got a rehabilitation order. The Falmouth Packet told us how a pub on the Lizard now offers glamping. The Cornish Times reminded us of that brilliant story from 2017 about how a bunch of school pupils went up on Bodmin Moor and used a balloon to put a pasty into space without spending £22 million. And finally, Cornwall Live continues its mission to flog Prince Harry's memoirs. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.